Hi, I'm Dave Schwartz, and I'm the Horse Handicapping Authority. Today's topic is recency. In the next 10 minutes or less, we're going to improve your handicapping by shooting a few sacred cows when it comes to recency. Recency has been part of handicapping, well, certainly as long as I can remember, and I began playing in the late 70s. Back then, there were people who actually wouldn't consider playing a horse that hadn't raced in the last 14 days. In this particular screen, what we see here is what I've worked out to be the best fit, and that is I went through all the possible days and dis, uh, determine the best way to break them out into groups. Now, surprisingly, look at the impact value column, which basically it translates to the percentage column, but it takes into consideration field size and so forth. What we see that is very surprising is that the highest impact value and the highest uh, win percentage at 13.5 is not where we would expect to find it. It's 32 to 56 days. Now, again, this has always been one of the sacred cows of racing. Now, granted, horses off more than 187 days are doing horribly. In fact, even at 84 days, you, you get a pretty significant decline in the value in the uh, impact value. But it's just not what we think it is. And if you look at the dollar return, you find that the best dollar return is actually found in the 57 to 69 day group. Again, of course, horses off longer than 187 days is a little over six months. So if they've been off six months or more, yeah, they really return very little money. Now remember that 109 is for a $2 wager. So in other words, this is a horse that is typically losing about 45 cents per wager dollar. What if instead we decide to look at races from a standpoint of distance? Here we look at sprint races. And again, it's the best fit. And what you see here, once again, does not bear out what we have been taught. In fact, you can see that in terms of impact value and hit rate, the horses are peaking after 17 days, pretty much 18 to 39 days. And if you look at the worst, of course, it's still the highest group. But everything above 83 days is about equal. How can this be? And imagine when we look at dollar net, we find, well, here we get what we expect, which is the lowest group, the one through eight days. That is, the horses coming back quickly produced an above average dollar net. The very longest group, the layoff horses, produced a horrible dollar net, 128. That means a horse off more than 83 days is losing his backers about 35 cents per wager dollar, maybe even a little bit more. In looking at root races, um, I actually used two years of data instead of one. Uh, the first thing we notice is very few horses coming back quickly and very few horses coming back after long layoffs. In comparison to sprint races where there were horses that would come back, oh, maybe after six months or a year, rarely 
does, as you can see here, in 17,000 races, only like 6,000 horses come back outside of about 70 days. That's like, you know, one out of every three races. In other words, they're coming back in sprint races first. Now, when we look at uh, the impact values, we see that the peak points are 28 to 68 days. I mean, those are above average numbers. And that the very bad, I, I guess if you've got a horse in a root race that's coming back after a long layoff without a sprint race, um, I mean, as bad as they are, they're not as bad as we would expect. I mean, 0.71 is not a horrible impact value. Certainly, they need to be devalued. But it's much, it is interesting to note that root races are much different than sprint races. And when you look at the dollar return, of course, we see the obvious $2 return on uh, horses coming back in five days or less. But I wouldn't put much stock in this because it's only 527 starts. Um, probably they are a good bet. Their hit rate is very high. But uh, certainly the thing to note is that horses coming off, uh, well, 145 days in round figures is about five months. If a horse is coming into a root race after a, more than a five-month layoff, and he, he's coming back in a root as opposed to a sprint, well, he looks like a pretty bad bet, losing 40 cents per wagered dollar. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I hope it improves your handicapping. If you'd like some more help with your handicapping, come join me at my website, www.thehorsehandicappingauthority.com. Horse Handicapping Authority, that's me, Dave Schwartz. Come there, sign up for free, and you'll find lots of free stuff. We're adding more all the time. Bye now.